Hi there, sign up Virgos. This is Kim here to do your next 48 hour reading. Hope you're doing really good out there. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, these messages are for you from my spirit team to your spirit team, opening up to angels, goddesses, gods, anybody that has um, messages that have a higher, for positivity, for a higher timeline. And maybe maybe even the one you're on so <clears throat> messages for the sign of virgo so if your mind is open then you might find that you resonate with some of the readings that are here and then that's cherubim the, um my mom's angel <clears throat> Okay. Flexible is coming out in the reverse. Flexible. So there's um, a need to be flexible. 19. Mm. You have milk and honey. Kind of like... Um, the manna, the things that magic is fueled on, the things in your life that come to come to fruition and then make everything seem easy, or just a feeling of ease. The rainbow here is promise of future, good future events to come. Bath of milk and honey, not for you in the reverse. That usually comes out when there's something that is not for you because there is something better. And it's like whatever this um, rejection was, it is ultimately protection. So that you can end up with um, whatever it is that you most desire or whatever it is that is supposed to be for you. <clears throat> so maybe that's what it's saying to be a flexible one is the um, nice exchanging gifts 27 is the... Um, the person or the situation exactly I'm gonna get a card for that not for you oh I have treasure island too on the bottom so I'm gonna put that right there we're gonna keep that and then you've got exchanging gifts 27 reminding me of um, the six of pentacles it just reminds me of that because it's it's very much so about exchanging gifts and treasure island here is is big time um there's wealth above that you can see and then there's unexplored treasure underneath in the water too so you got two of the cards that mean kind of like abundance and plentiful so i guess the big question is what is not for Virgo, or what is the knot for you? <clears throat> Queen of Coins. Queen of Coins. Doing it all by yourself is not for you. And the Lovers. In the reverse. And the Four of Cups, pretty much in the reverse. So a fresh new start is needed. I don't know if the person not for you is this is a Gemini, um, but it's somebody who did something that they really regret. Or looking back, there was regret with this person or with disappointment. So a fresh new start is needed for um, a lover situation. And it feels like you're, uh, yeah, so it's something new, a new start is needed. <clears throat> Somebody needs something completely new when we get the uh, Ace of Wands. Somebody could already be committed to, um, or this is like you doing all things and um, not getting much help. So it's about reciprocity, wanting to do things and actually get help. So a fresh new start is needed, and here's this passionate new beginning. Um, 
that's clarifying the fresh new start. So let me get another, um, let me get another card from the Kipper deck. Tell me who the not for you is. Tell me who the not for you is. Oh, somebody's married. So I was right. Like somebody was married or somebody is married, is committed already. Is it not for you is for? <clears throat> so what is this uh, Ace of Wands representing then? Transformation. Transformation of some sort. Mm. Poverty, toil, and labor in the reverse. How to, how to work smarter, not harder. Somebody might be asking if you would marry them and this is saying that something would be much harder if you stayed with this person. Like it would, it, you wouldn't pull out of this feeling like everything was hard work. Poverty. So being flexible is going to be really important. What about this poverty energy here? Adversity, seeing clearly the adversity or the adversity found, like it could be that this, how this energy makes this person act um, because sometimes when we're going through stressful things like that, like they can get uh, resentful and angry or, um, you know, real sarcastic, has a brain, but it's not using it for the right things. Um, and here's some way where you're able to say, I can see clearly now I'm going to work smarter, not harder. And not let any of this get in the way or what these people have to say or person has to say. That could be Aquarius, could be Scorpio. We have Gemini energy too, Capricorn. Five of Pentacle. Oof. Somebody was left out or felt like an outsider and it was over a situation that the um, foundation wasn't built very strong in the first place. And so that this temporary um, worry, whether this is about m money or whether it's about a health concern, it can be about somebody's health, ill health, or it's a feeling of lack. Um, it's a feeling of needing something um, and so it was like the, this event was the, um, the fuel that you kind of needed to spark the next thing that you are going to do or that you, you are going to do. Tell me more about this marriage card up here with number three the marriage card, King of Cups, somebody else for you. This person is trying to compete for your heart. I know for sure. Maybe they even want to marry you. Maybe the person that that really wants to settle down with you to give you everything you desire. That person, that person might be for you, and this person might not be for you. So this person is coming in as somebody that's trying to get your heart or trying to win your heart. Tell me a little bit more about um, this King of Cups. It's in the not so distant future. <laughs> so you have distant horizons, but it's in the reverse. So this is something that's coming fairly soon for you is this new um, love interest or person who uh, gets you. They just get your heart. Uh, your heart resonates similar to theirs. You're on the same level with this person. Wow. Might be a Virgo or might be somebody who's just very wise on their own path. This might be you doing the work, you know, the inner work to find out what it was that you like. You find this person after, 
after being kind of like thrown into a role where you've where you can do it all and and you can though so it's like you wouldn't this wouldn't be a need based relationship whereas down here i've got something that feels like it's a need based relationship instead of a want based relationship <sighs> ah All right, so the hermit is going to be really important for you to spend this time because something's going to come up fairly quick. So it's going to be really important. And I just can't help but relate this um, exchanging gifts with the money, the treasure island, and the milk and honey. There's the new, this this person. This is the new person, Ace of Cups. It is like um, as a gift from the universe. It's like here, let your cup of overrunneth. And let go of the past, the people from the past, keeping you in a cycle. In a cycle because of maybe something they have to learn. There's not, you're not supposed to be in this energy any, anymore. You're, pull, you're pulling towards something very different. <clears throat> you just have to let go of this maybe person who, they might have a karmic tie with, with some kind of lesson or some kind of something. You know what I mean? Everybody has different um, challenges. This says move forward and defend yourself. Like the Queen of Swords, she knows what to defend and sees clearly who she needs to cut out, who is keeping her um, in lack or him, her or him in lack. There's a new person. And then this this queen doesn't care to and don't get caught up on the genders, but the queen isn't doesn't care to cut out the people that aren't. Um, there's a heavy Scorpio or Aquarius that are not helping and Virgo. That's it. See, I keep feeling like this was the situation where the person's supposed to be cut out. Cause why? Cause you need to be focusing on your ten of cups. There's the rainbow. It's another rainbow. It's your milk and honey. And this is this is careful communication and good news coming in. It's not always good news, but it is when it's paired with the ten of cups to me. This is really, really good news. This could even involve a child, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, um, who is very happy or a situation where... Everybody involved is just really happy. Everybody ends up finding their uh, fairy tale under this rainbow. This is a really nice. This is a really nice reading. <laughs> it's kind of sweet, and it's going to result in um, having plenty and abundance, possibly a marriage if you're uh, open to that, or if you're willing, if you're wanting that. <clears throat> this person would aim to like spoil spoil you oh look romance is in the air hey, the rose romance is in the air beautiful okay i have a crib birth or conception of a child or enterprise sunrise new creative ideas new ventures a fresh start dragon beware of self-delusion that's this this energy right here Bull might be Taurus. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Dog protection from a powerful friend. And I have bouquet um, compliments from an admirer. Jug, a lighthearted, carefree time. Bo, you're highly thought of. Ink pot problems to be resolved. And a rooster, an arrogant, boastful person that you should not cross. Okay, Virgo. And we're going to get um, one of these Oracle genetic gifts for you. Clear seeing, clairvoyant, so you can see something coming in. Maybe you need to tap more into some kind of ability with this clairvoyance. Or find out more about it or something like that nice clear cognizance a clear knowing clear cognizance clear knowing telepathy thought reading ESP Facebook platform spiritual posts and activities um, Akashic field all information power energy 
and experiences vibrate here. And then I have clairvoyance, which is clear seeing. And that's what I've got for you. So um, here, you know what? Let me end it with one of these angel number messages to for you, Virgo. Hit like and subscribe. There's so many very substantial who's going to come into your life as um, a main partner here. To why? To give you gifts. Exchange because they want to spoil you. 27. I am expressive. Your mind is wide open. You are tolerant and compassionate towards all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people, whether in the community, country, or the world at large. I'm expressive. And then number two, you have a great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive, unbiased nature allows you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. I am diplomatic. Um, and certainly, if you're going to step into that King of Cups energy, it is for you to um, step in and be loving, have, you know, direct others from a loving point of view or from a lo loving perspective. And that's what I've got for you. Sending you love and light. Thanks so much for joining me, Virgos. Bye-bye.